Welcome to There is a Method to the Madness. I am Rob Maxwell. I'm an exercise physiologist and personal trainer. I'm the owner of Maxwell's Fitness Programs, and I've been in business for the past 28 years. All right, let's talk about some fitness. I put out some questions on social media over the weekend to ask what people wanted to hear about, and I picked the top three questions to cover this week. And they are, Gina asked, what is my workout routine? She uh, liked how I talked about my diet last week and wanted to piggyback on that and find out what my routine was. And I'm going to cover that this week, not today. And second question she had, which is the one I'm going to cover today, is with the holidays coming up, is it best to splurge and just basically let it all rip and pick it up when it's over, holidays that is, or should you try to eat healthy and make better choices? And that is actually the topic of today. And then finally, Drew asked about meal timing and workouts and how important that is, and I'm going to cover that this week too. But today, I'm going to start with Gina's question about the holidays. All right, and it's a, and it's a great question, and I like questions like that. They absolutely tell me what people want to hear and uh, what need what they need to hear. And you know, if I don't have that, I'm going to be kind of like picking topics, you know, based on fitness things, and that's fun and everything. But I really do appreciate questions more than anything and as I used to tell my students it's like it's not selfish to ask questions because other people most likely are thinking and wondering the same thing we all like to think we're very different the reality is we're really really not and if it's on your mind chances are it's on somebody else's mind so ask questions people it's always the same people asking questions and I know you have to have something so just you know Shoot me a text, put it on social media. If you're a client, ask me when you see me. So those are the fun things. Gives us topics. All right. So I'll repeat the question again. Gina asked if it's best to splurge and kind of let yourself go over the holiday. You know, maybe we'll just keep it specific to Thanksgiving and basically eat whatever you want to eat that day and then pick it up the next day. Or should you try to make the best choices you can? All right, so like everything, there is a middle ground and there is also like different answers for different people. She went on in her question and, um, and, and she's right. She said that there's a lot of different professional advice out there, like people say one way or the other, and she's right. And that's very true in the fitness world on many things. You get a lot of extremely opinionated answers to questions or statements so she's right there is one camp that says you know what it's the holidays and just let it go don't worry about it you're not going to do any damage in a day and so on and so on and then there's another camp that says you know what no matter what always stick to your guns all right so she's right there's a lot of confusion on that and it leaves people confused because uh you know they're supposed to be experts the reality is I think every answer comes down to data, research, and uh, you know what we're researching and what data we're looking at. So let me give you what I know about that type of question. So it's very similar in the bodybuilding world or physique contest world, like there's different forms of that now, it's not just bodybuilding, but anybody that has to basically be at their most leanness, get up on stage and present their physique. We will call physique contest type stuff. It's very similar. Some people believe that when they're training for competition like that, that they should um, have a splurge day, meaning that they just go ahead and eat what they want one day out of seven. Some people narrow that down a little bit more and say, well, at least one meal a week, I'm gonna splurge and eat what I want. And then there is the belief that you know you should never do that that it's not going to be beneficial to you to do that and could quite frankly hurt you so to say in the body fat world so it's a very similar topic so it's not just to the holidays 
and we could also throw in vacation and all that so let me tell you that it is mostly mostly a psychological answer meaning that physiologically speaking nothing changes I mean I know people like to think things change but physiologically speaking when we eat less than 3500 calories of what our body needs we lose one pound so in other words to lose weight we have to consume less than we're putting out I mean that's just the way that is and physiologically they you know your your body doesn't take a day off because it's a holiday it just doesn't say oh we're not going to count that pumpkin pie we're not going to count that pecan pie and so on and so on so you know the it, the physiological answer is always going to be the same so then the question then is is how much and what is your ability to get back on track and what is your absolute goal so to, to make a long story short on that then it really comes down to it is extremely individual and it's going to come more down to the psychology of the individual versus the physiology of the individual so let me cover that first what that means is some people personality wise are very feast or famine they're very either or black and white and for them I think it is very difficult to have a splurge day and again I'm going to cover that like it depends on the goal so in other words like if somebody's already at their ideal weight or very close then they can get away with a lot more so yes that that's a part of that but some people are very black and white and so if you give them that freedom or I should say they give themselves because really you're the only one that can dictate what is best for you. Nobody should really be telling you what to do on that. They can advise but not tell you what to do. I don't tell people what to do. I advise and then answer their questions like I'm doing here. So it's, you know, if, if you're that person and then we throw in the importance of the goal. So let's say that um, you really, really, really need to lose weight because you've been unhealthy and you've been losing weight and you've been doing great and you're still overweight and the holidays roll around well you know what that's in and your personality might be black or white either or then my advice would be you gotta or you should best try to stay within your caloric budget the best of your ability because my fear and concern would be that kind of like an alcoholic you know they they know that they can't drink because the problem is sometimes alcoholics begin to drink again and they brag about being able to pull it off like wow i only had two beers see i told you i can do it but then we if you've been in this situation know that a couple days later like they didn't pull it off and each time it went right back to where they were so sometimes that's common with food as well with people who struggle with that if you are you know kind of that alcoholic personality addictive personality either or black and white personality then um and i and i i'm well aware that you know drug addiction alcoholism is a disease so it's not just about either or personality i get that but in the case of food a lot of times it is and so if that's the case with you, then my fear would be sure. I mean, I mean, come on, it's common sense says one piece of pumpkin pie is not gonna kill anybody, right? I mean, of course it's not. I mean, but some people can have that slice even when they're dieting and the next day say, that's that, you know? Yeah, we have extras. You know what, I'm bringing them to the food bank or I'm gonna give these extras to a person I see on the side of the road or I'm going to, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? Worst case scenario, you know, feed the animals. And by the way, when I say that, don't get me wrong, because I absolutely love animals, so I don't mean to, you know, <laughs> degrade them like that. But the bottom line is, I'm just saying all this because I don't like to waste. I don't like to throw things away. But some people can say, I'm not going to have that pie the next day. It was for Thanksgiving. Some people can't, and will you know, that they'll just set them off. It's like they get the sugar cravings, the fat cravings, and they're like, well, you know, Thanksgiving, okay, you know, wasn't so bad. You know what? Well, Friday the day after, you know, really it's still the holiday. And then you see the justifications, the 
you know, coming in and, and uh, well, you know, then it turns into, you know what, I'll get on it on Monday. Well, next thing you know, the person who was really, really on track all of a sudden now went on a four day food binge because they let themselves off the hook for a day. Now, that's not everybody. Physiologically speaking, one day is probably not going to do a lot of damage. I mean, let's think about it. You know, if you eat, you know, say a thousand to fifteen hundred calories more than you need in a day, sure, that's not great, and that's more food than you're used to. But the bottom line is that's a half a pound. Like that's really not that bad. So from that perspective, it, it's not bad, but the problem is, and this is why I said this is a psychological answer, solution, not a physiological, because the body's not going to slow down, speed up, or drastically change, right? I mean, it, it is what it is. But if you can't keep it to that one day, like if you go hog wild on Thursday, and then hog wild on Friday, and then say screw it on Saturday, Sunday, and then maybe you come back on Monday, that's four days. And that could easily be two, three, four pounds. I mean, it really could. And then all the sodium on top of it when we're not eating foods we're accustomed to, you know, and, and then psychologically speaking, you get on the scale after that four day food bender, and that's what it is, it's a bender. And then you're like, oh shit, five pounds up. Well, screw it, right? And that's gonna be very dangerous to somebody. That is not a, you know, good thing right but again only you the listener will be able to determine if that is you or not so then take the other person who is the you know well it's a holiday coming but i've always been able to get back on track like you know, I know I can have this extra gravy with my mashed potatoes and I can have this extra gravy on my turkey and I can have this piece of pecan pie because, you know, I've done it before and uh, they have a little slice and they don't binge, but they have that piece of pie. They're still trying to lose weight. They still got those goals and all those things. They know themselves well. And then the next day, like I said, they're the ones, you know, donating the food, giving it to family whatever, well then, yeah, there's your answer. They can pull that off, you know? So the answer, like most things in life, there is no perfect one answer. It's, it's a depends, Gina, it's a depends answer. And the answer is if you know yourself and you're more that binger type, then you are going to be best off to count your calories and stay within a budget maybe allow yourself a little more than usual but stay within your budget does that sound like you're being hard on yourself and all that yeah it does sound that way but you know what's harder that or losing all the ground you made and then going back to square one right so if you're the person that knows you can get right back after it and you're you know you're on a diet and you're losing weight and all that good stuff then the answer is, you know what? Just allow yourself to have a day off, get back on it the next day. So only you know if you're that person. If you're not really sure, and I'd be very surprised about that because, you know, our personality is our personality. I taught some psychology courses in my life, and personalities are set shortly after birth, believe it or not. Like, personalities are very trait related not state related trait and state trait means it's kind of part of you it always has been state means it depends like the state of affairs well it depends on what's going on is it your trait so i'd be very surprised if you didn't know yourself very well and you'd say well i'm not sure i mean to me that sounds like you kind of know that you're a binger and you're just trying to kind of like pretend maybe you didn't know so you can slip up but that's a whole nother conversation and we can't do anything about that you know except you can listen to this and make your own determination what you need to do but i'd be very surprised if you didn't already know what type of personality you are and i know uh Jeannie, you're asking for everybody i know that you stay in phenomenal shape and everything and in this though i don't know i don't know if you are the person who um you know can get right back on it the next day and not go too overboard on a thanksgiving or if you're that person that's going to then justify the whole weekend. I don't know. So after you listen to this, I would like to know. I'd like to follow that up with the listeners for you. My final 
thought on this is that like um, when it came to like the the really huge goals going on like let's say the competitions for bodybuilding or you're so close to hitting your goal weight and all these things are really important well the holidays are a really bad time to plan that stuff so there's that when I was talking about the importance of goals in other words you know it you know I've done physique shows uh, I don't think no I know for a fact I would never like plan one around the holidays because it's like you're not gonna want to be like uh, oh wow I gotta go in the peak week mid-november peak week means you're basically doing everything perfect and you know that, so that's really bad timing so if there's any of you out there listening to this then that's a simple solution don't plan things around these types of food holidays like that because you're just setting yourself up for a very difficult time with that and I don't even know if there are that many like on the calendars when I look I know there's not nearly as many as there are in the summer and spring and even the fall and probably because organizers are like nobody's gonna want to do this physique show like late November mid-December I mean oh yeah let me go into the holidays and I'm not gonna have one candy cane I mean you know so there's that you have to think about the timing of your goals and everything like that but I know the one thing that does get people into trouble often is I'll start tomorrow and I have a blog on that my website about that you know I'll start tomorrow I'll start after the holidays I mean gosh as a trainer I can't tell you how many times I've heard that it's people start like kicking tires and they know they have an issue with their weight or with their fitness and whatever and they start kicking the tires somewhere around mid-November like it, it's just always happens you get the, the phone call the text messages the the website uh, questions the Facebook messenger whatever people just start going hey you know I'm trying to find out if you're taking new clients I need to get in shape and by the way I don't want to start till the first of the year like it is so typical and our you know and we are full we're not taking anybody at this point but you know when we have it in the past I've always said well okay but like so how is getting started for two weeks a bad thing and then getting back to it after a week off like how is that worse than delaying starting it's like it's it's just so typical human nature and it makes no sense so the whole i'll start tomorrow thing as you probably just picked up on i don't like the whole i'll get back to it after thing i don't like different with a holiday okay a holiday i'm going to do this today i'm getting right back on the horse tomorrow right it's a whole different matter when you say the whole weekend or next month or you know it's my birthday month it's like what? what the hell does that mean it used to be a birthday no it's my birthday month i'm gonna eat whatever the hell i want it's like okay go for it and you're gonna pay the consequences for that no matter who you are so i don't agree with that line of thinking i think a day yes but the put off until tomorrow thing never tends to work so hope that answers the question and uh i'm gonna follow up on the other to later this week and now it is time to thank the people who pay for this podcast because that is very very important and our first one is our very first sponsors ever they've been with us since the beginning of the show and that's jonathan and lynn gilden at the gilden group at realty pros jonathan works out here he's a hustler he is a professional his wife lynn is a professional they do a great job. They are professional agents, and I have to stress that because a lot of people jumped into the real estate game when the, the money was hot, and they were not professionals, and unfortunately, I had one because it was before I met Jonathan, and I canned them <laughs> and decided not to sell the house because it was a disaster. So these guys are professionals, and I absolutely vouch for them. All of their information are going to be in the show notes, but it's thegildengroup.com, 386-451-2412. And I've also been very fortunate and blessed to pick up a second sponsor, and that's chiropractic physician Doris Antos, and she's phenomenal. I mean, you talk about another professional. It's so important to always hire people that are pros in the field, not just people that are kind of out there temporarily, you know, feeling things out, but pros, and she's a pro. She's been in Ormond Beach area doing chiropractic work for 13 years. She's lived here for 18 years, 
and she does all kinds of different treatments, not just typical chiropractic treatments, but many, many chiropractic treatments. Why? Because she's a pro. And she can be reached at Daytona Back Pain or at 386-258-9800. Sorry for the pause. And again, the information will be in the show notes. So, so until next time, be max fit, be max well.